So I'm over here on the other side of the um, the trailer axle. I did the I did that side on this axle last time. So this time I'm uh, checking this this side because it was heating up. This last trip I took, yeah, this was heating up. So I'll show you what, how I'm checking this and how I'm doing this with the torch and um, bending the spindle back into place because this one is also bent. So the way I'm doing this, I'm measuring, using this as a reference, this surface right here, and uh, laying, laying the end of the straight edge on there nice and flush, nice and flush right here. Um, then I go back over here and I measure the distance. And I take that measurement and I write it down and then I'll go on the other side, measure that distance here. I'll write that down and then I take those two numbers add them up and then take the total of those two numbers add it up and then divide that by two and that gives you the uh the number you need then you can take that number and put it in in your calipers here and it's the uh, the average between the two and that's that's where it's going to need to be to get it centered now i'm just going to get the uh oxy settling torch i'm going to heat it up right right here with the nut on it bend it with the pipe here anyway yeah so here's the nut so we'll screw that guy on there I think I'll just try to hit it first to see what happens this yeah it it did not move at all so measurement of it try not to burn myself that old is gonna roll around once more gonna come down more it will even up the score don't be weak as they sow they will reap turn the other cheek and don't give in that old wheel will roll around again yes sir when love is gone And the one you thought would stay does you wrong And you're left alone to pay the prices high mm -hmm. But somehow you'll survive, don't give in That old wheel will roll around again That old wheel is gonna roll around once more when it does It will even up the score don't be weak As they sow they will reap Turn the other cheek and don't give in That old wheel will roll around again Roll on! Alright, I think we got it Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat, heat all this up And then I'm going to harden it Hit it with the, the garden hose I'll temper it by heating it up again to 400 degrees and then uh, letting it cool down. Tell them about hard times, John. There'll be times hard to control and you'll find you'll hurt down in your soul. There'll be those who'll be glad to see you down, but don't give Yeah, we're like 1,500. I think ideally you're supposed to get it up to like 1,500, so. That old wheel, that old wheel, it's gonna roll around once more when it does. And when it does, it's gonna even up the score. Don't be weak. As they sow, they will reap. Turn the other cheek and don't give in. That old wheel will roll around again. That old wheel, yeah, that old wheel is gonna roll around once more when it does. It will even up the score. Don't be weak, don't be weak. As they say, they will reap. Yeah, we're good. She can don't give in. Don't give in. That old wheel will roll around again.
350 so we're getting, getting closer all right guys that's uh i think that's it for now so i'm gonna just uh let that cool down and then i'll put the wheel hub back on when you put this lug or the the wheel nut hub nut back on uh you just basically uh you can torque it down to like 50 30 to 50 foot pounds of torque rotate the tire half dozen dozen times and then uh loosen it up and then tighten it up uh just uh sort of a not all not like as strong as you can get it with your fingers but uh, uh pretty close to put quite you know a fair amount of pressure on it with your fingers um and just snug it up and then uh that's about where you need it to be as far as uh how how tight the the hub nut needs to be on there so it should work out good it's straight now the other side is straight i did it anyway i hope this helped if you have any questions comments leave them or questions yeah comments leave them in the comment section and um yeah until next time bye